today we're going to talk about Law Toolbox Matter-Based Collaboration in Office 365 for Teams, Outlook, and SharePoint. According to a recent Gartner study, Microsoft Teams is the fastest growing product and will soon exceed Outlook. Let's get started by enabling the Law Toolbox app and getting Teams ready. First, we will create our team that will serve as our litigation hub. So we click Join or Create a Team, Create Team, and build a team from scratch. Private, and then we'll give it a name. Enter the users you'd like to have access to the litigation hub. And next, we'll create a channel in our team. When we click Add Channel, we'll add the name Law Toolbox. And this is where we'll manage our docketing and legal calendaring. Now we'll add the app. We click on the plus and we type Law Toolbox and click Install and Save. Now that the app has been added to our account, we're going to go to Conversations and we're going to log in. So we type in at Law Toolbox and select the red toolbox icon and then there'll be a space and we're going to type in the words login, all one word, and then click send. Now we'll click the log into Law Toolbox button. And through single sign-on, we're ready to start using Law Toolbox. Click on the Law Toolbox tab at the top. Even though I'm using Teams for the first time today, I see all the matters that were originally created in Law Toolbox via the Outlook add-in. That's because any matters created in Outlook can be used in Teams and vice versa. This allows users to manage their matters from wherever they are most comfortable. Depending on your firm's practice areas, you may add a team called Transactional Hub. Or if you're in corporate legal, you may add a legal department hub. And now you can add a Law Toolbox channel and Law Toolbox app to each of these. And you might want to drag your teams to the top. Next, let's look at setting up a new matter. We can do this in Outlook or Teams. You pick. I'm in Teams now, so I'll set up my case from here. And I happen to be in the Law Toolbox channel in the Litigation Hub because I am part of the Litigation Department. So I'll enter my matter name here. And I can enter my matter number, client name, any of that additional information. Then click Next. We'll choose our state. For the rule set, I could choose general matters for basic legal calendaring, but I'm going to choose instead LA County Superior Court. Now I've just created an Office 365 group for my Microsoft team. Next, I choose the members. We'll choose the central docketing user. And because this is a construction defect matter and there's a group of us that work together, I'll choose that. And then I'll add the attorneys and staff to the case. Most firms create a Microsoft team for each matter. So let's do that next. We click on the matter, then we choose document folders. And in the bottom left, we select Microsoft Teams, create a team. Because we just created a team using an Office 365 group, we see the Teams general folder for document storage appearing here. And if we go back to Microsoft Teams, we'll see the Smith v. Acme team that is just provisioned for us to start using. OK, let's go to the general channel and look at the files for the Smith v. Acme matter. And we see we don't have any here. Now let's go look at the 
SharePoint site that's been created by the Office 365 group. And let's up so upload some documents. Now let's go to Teams and see these same documents and files from Teams inside the matter. For firms that have been using Office 365 Groups or Microsoft Teams to manage their matters already, they can see this next section on how to attach a new Law Toolbox matter to an existing group or Microsoft Team. This firm was using Microsoft Teams to manage their legal matters before implementing Law Toolbox. So in this next scenario, we're going to attach to the Brown v. Acme team. So we click New Matter, and we enter the matter name and the matter number and client. C click Next. We'll select our state and rule set. And this time, we see we have two choices. We can create a new Office 365 group, or we can click here to search and find an existing Office 365 group to attach to. So we search for anything containing the word brown, and we click Attach. Now, this particular group may have already had three members in it, and it's very important that when you're creating the matter in Law Toolbox, you select all the same members. And if, by the way, there is a fourth member that you want to add, you can go ahead and add that member to the group in Law Toolbox and it will update and manage your users from here on. And when creating matters where you're attaching two groups, make sure that you only select one team to attach a Law Toolbox matter to. Regardless of where you set up your Law Toolbox matters, in Office 365 Outlook or in Teams, the method for calculating and managing deadlines is exactly the same. Find your matter. Click on the action menu, choose calculate deadlines, select a trigger date such as trial and enter the date. You can, for example, deselect one of the dates and then click the sync button, add, and 71 out of those 72 deadlines will instantly update everybody's Outlook calendar. If you haven't already watched our Outlook add-in training video, be sure to watch it because Law Toolbox in Outlook and Law Toolbox in Teams are identical. And in that video, we cover everything you need to know about legal calendaring and docketing in Law Toolbox. Next, let's look at configuring your litigation hub or your transactional hub in Teams. If your firm uses a document management system like NetDocs or iManage, you can click on the ellipsis, click Add Channel, and click Add. Now we can click on the plus sign to add a tab. Select the website tile. Add a name, paste in your URL, and click Save. You can add additional channels and corresponding tabs for things like your time and billing system, legal research, and e-filing. Next, we will configure channels, files, and tabs for your matters. I just set up the Brown v. Acme construction matter. Let's start with our documents and files. We can add a default folder structure to our matters, and there are many ways to automate this, but the easiest way to get started is if I, cl after clicking on files, if I have more than 10 files to upload, I click on open in SharePoint and drag and drop. And now let's go back to our Brown v. Acme construction 
uh, matter, where we can see that the new matter has been quickly set up with all of the files and folders to help us get started. And you can make any document in your files area into a tab if it's really important for your case. Some firms like to keep it simple and clean and use the general tab to collaborate on a case and others like to organize topics by channel. Let's create a channel for calls, emails, and meetings. James Stern just took a call from the client letting him know that she has rescheduled her business trip and can do the depot prep this week. When James logged the call in this matter, it automatically showed up for everybody to see. So Jean wants her email correspondence with the client to be automatically saved to the matter file. So she is going to get the email address for this channel. Everybody on this case, including clients, experts, and opposing counsel, will include this email address on CC for all correspondence so that emails and attachments are automatically saved to the client file. She also decides to insert a list of upcoming deadlines to review at the meeting. And when she goes back over to Teams, she sees the email here and the attachment below. And when she goes to Files, the email and attachment have been automatically filed here as well. Now we'll take a look at scheduling and leading a confidential meeting with a client using Microsoft Teams. To schedule a conference call in Teams, click on Meetings, click Schedule Meeting, Invite your attendees and click Schedule. When you're ready to begin, click on the meeting and click Join. Hey, I have a quick question. Can I share my screen? You bet. So I wasn't totally sure about how to handle number three. Can we start there? You have the option to add people outside your organization, like co-counsel or even special clients, as guests on their matters. Click on the ellipsis next to the matter name and click add member and type in their email. Before you do this, you'll want to check with your IT staff to see if your organization has been enable, enabled for sharing with external members. Thanks for your time today. If you have any questions, please email support at lawtoolbox.com.